today I'm doing a book review of The Glass Magician by Charlie N. Holmberg. And this is the sequel to the first book, which is The Paper Magician, which I also loved. And I will leave a link down below for that video if you want to see the review for that one. I will try to do this spoiler free, just like I did the last one. I thought this was a really good book. For a brief summary, this book is about the main char character, Sini, who is a paper magician, also known as a folder in this world, and she is working under Magician Thane, who is her magician, and she is her his apprentice. And at the end of the last book, um, she, it kind of led into this love story, so we kind of feel that tension in the beginning of the book, where Sini is madly infatuated with Magician Thane, and she doesn't really know if Magician Thane, or as she calls him, Emery by his first name, is really that interested in her. But throughout this book, you really find out um, later on what his true feelings are, so you'll have to read the book for that part. But um, in this book, it is about some of the people that are in the dark arts group. So it's the dark magic is um, excisioner, and which is basically they have control over over um, flesh and blood and guts and things like that. So these people are after Sini because she did some magic at the end of the last book that made Lyra unable to awaken or move or do anything like that. So <clears throat> this book really goes into how. The people that care for Lyra, one person in particular, is trying to track down c &E, and and um, his name is Graf Cobalt, I believe that's how you say it, and he is going around trying to get c &E to uh, tell her, tell him how to get Lyra out of the spell that she's placed upon her. So that's mostly what the, the, the main part of this book. There's also another excisioner that is causing a lot of drama and explosions and things like that that are happen right first off in the beginning of the book um, when they visit a paper mill for part of her training. Um, so within the book you find out what the glass magician means. I don't want to give away what that is, but it is a male. Um, there's a lot of mirrors going on in there, things like that. So basically, I thought I thought this book was really good. I read a, quite a few reviews that did not like the book, but I didn't agree with that. I thought that Charlie Holmberg did a really good job of describing the the world, not going into too much depth. <clears throat> it is quite a quick, easy read, so it went by pretty quickly when I read this. Some of the people in the other reviews were saying that they wish they had more of the world, which I agree. I wish there was more of the world because I would have liked to hear more about this this magician world. But I think the series as a whole is opening more of those doors as you read the series. So I'm wondering if she's come if she's coming out with a new book. I don't know. I'm have to look that up. But if she is, I'm sure it'll just keep unfolding. Because as I've read the series. I've learned more about the world. So now I can kind of see why she hasn't given it all away at once. You have to keep reading in order to find out more, which I love about authors because it's, you know, you, you want to keep reading. You don't want to just pick up a book and be like, <clears throat> I'm done with this book. So I think Charlie does a re really good job of making sure that you want to keep reading the series. She doesn't give away all the secrets right up front. Another thing that I loved about this book was that she wasn't afraid to take characters out of the story and, and basically kill them off. You know, and I feel like sometimes authors that don't do that are making it feel like it's predictable. Like, I had no idea the person that dies in this book was going to die. No idea. Um, you'll have to read that. Read The Glass Magician in order to find out who died. I especially loved the action in this book. Um, this is definitely a book, like I said in the last review, I think I could see these as a movie. The ending of this book also had a really cool twist, and she finds out a certain type of magic that definitely opens up 
a whole realm of books after this that I am excited to read once she writes them, if she writes them, that I think it's just, it's, it's huge. It's, it's a big deal what she finds out at the end, and it's pretty amazing. And she's the only person that knows it because somebody else leaves the story. We'll put it at that. So, uh, overall, I think this was an amazing book. I loved it. I'd say probably four out of five. The remaining star, I wouldn't give to it because, again, I do wish it was a little bit longer just because I loved it and it was a super quick read. Super action-packed for such a short novel, but I think the shortness also adds to it at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I thought this was a really good book, and you should definitely start reading this series. The first one is The Paper Magician, and you can watch my review of that. The link is down below. So this time I try to do a really quick review. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and give that subscribe button some love. And thanks for watching. Check out this book. Woo!